Hello friends, I'm Parviz and this is our fourth video in Flask Crypto Blueprint. In the previous video, we have learned how you can read and write cookies in Flask applications. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, uh, how you can create your basic folder, struct folder structure in Flask and uh, how you can include CSS files or uh, how you can work with Jinja template uh, in Flask. Okay. Uh, now for this, uh, uh, Flask uses uh, a different structure for folders. Uh, for example, if you're going to add CSS files or uh, mm, bootstrap or image, uh, Flask uses a separate folder for this that's called static. And for uh, your templates, like for example for your index.html, Flask, Flask uses another separate fi uh, folder that's called templates. Uh, now let me show you that how we can create this. Uh, the first folder I'm going to create that's static and the second one that uh, I need is uh, templates uh, make sure that the spelling uh, should be like this templates now click on OK okay now I have uh, two uh, folder in here uh, let me show you practical I'm going to create another uh, Python file I call it my app now I need from flask import flask and instantiate your flask application uh, now I need just one route uh, the index route diff index I'm going to just return uh, in h1 hello flask application now run your server uh, underscore underscore main app dot round uh, run and make the debugging to true. Let me save this and run this. Okay, now I have a uh, Hello Flask application. Uh, now, uh, how you can create your template in Flask? For this in templates folder, I'm going to create a new file uh, called index.html. Okay. Now in here, uh, make your uh, basic HTML files. Uh, hit. I'm going to give a title, Flask application, and make a body. Now in the body, uh, I'm going to add my this. Uh, Hello Flask application with h1 in my HTML file like this okay and I just remove uh, this from here okay now if I refresh this uh, you can see there will not be anything now how you can upload or render your this uh, index.html in Flask uh, for this uh, instead of returning a, a empty string uh, let me you should need to import render template for rendering your template you can simply write render template and in here you can write index.html now uh, now if I run this you can see now I have hello flask application uh, this was for uh, basic uh, uh, HTML uh, for example in templates I'm going to create another template uh, I call it uh, register.html. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to just copy this my HTML file and paste it in here, and I call this uh, this is this is uh, this is register page. Okay. Uh, now you can also in here you, know, you can create another route at app dot route and uh, call it uh, register and in here diff register now you can simply return return render um, template uh, return render template and I call this uh, register.html okay uh, now if I refresh my application and if I go to the uh, 
register first I need to yeah, in here I have a problem I should close this uh, and I should run this again run up and uh, Okay, now if I go to the register, register now this is register page. Now, how you can add up CSS files in your Flask application? Uh, let me create in my static any file. Call this style.css, and I'm going to just target my H1, and I'm going to just give it color red. Uh, now, if I refresh this. Uh, there will not be anything in here because I need to include this uh, in my HTML files. For example, I'm going to include this in my index.html. And head you can do this link uh, href uh, URL for. Uh, now my uh, CSS file is in the static folder. Uh, we can call it uh, static. And uh, the file name is uh, style.css. Okay. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake in here. Uh, link href, uh, like this, you should do this url underscore four uh, static folder, and the file name is style.css and uh, it is style sheet okay uh, now if I refresh, refresh this ginger unexpected I have a problem ginger2 uh, url4 mm, static file name is oh sorry in here I forgot to add this now let me refresh this. You can see if you uh, give a, a wrong uh, syntax in your HTML, uh, including uh, we have received a ginger2 exception template syntax error. Now if I refresh this, you can see now I have hello flask application. Uh, okay, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, subscribe to my channel. And the next video, uh, I will talk about how you can uh, include bootstrap files in your Flask application.